I'm speaking with Jack Layton, leader of Canada's NDP. Jack, how would you compare the vision behind this budget with Barack Obama's vision? Well, it's totally different. I mean, here what we see is uh, uh, one of the largest numbers is $60 billion in corporate tax cuts for the biggest corporations in the country, the profitable banks and oil companies. Uh, that compares to $1 billion, one sixtieth of the amount for the unemployed. Uh, he, he just doesn't get it, Mr. Harper, as to how the priority now has to be those who are being left behind, those who are suffering. Uh, they, they need a lot of help, not just pittance. And uh, we need to invest in the sectors that, that need our help transforming to create those new green collar uh, jobs of the future. And uh, we don't see that here. Uh, even in the home renovation uh, initiative, there isn't really an insistence that this should be uh, based on the concept of, uh, of reducing energy use, uh, which uh, we know from the Toronto example of the Better Buildings Partnership is the way to go. Uh, creates work and uh, reduces greenhouse gas emissions and, uh, and uh, creates better buildings all at the same time. He didn't choose these, these progressive positive options. Do you think that your prospective coalition partners are as disappointed in this budget as you are? Well, we won't know until tomorrow. Uh, I think that uh, clearly uh, the budget doesn't meet the tests that the Liberals set out, which is that uh, it, has to, it has to help those who are uh, uh, most damaged economically by the crisis. It has to protect the jobs uh, of today and, and create the new jobs for tomorrow in the context of a new greener economy. And, uh, and this budget doesn't do those things. So uh, I believe there's a positive and optimistic choice. Uh, there's a majority of members of parliament that are ready to work together and uh, deliver a progressive agenda that would be very much in parallel with what we see Obama doing south in the border. Uh, but um, if not, if Mr. Ignatieff decides uh, that the Liberals will support Mr. Harper as his first act as a, a party leader, well, then uh, uh, that'll be very unfortunate because it'll be like... Uh, keeping George Bush in power in Canada just when they've thrown him out in the States. One more question. Who do you think is most at risk with this budget? Who is this budget going to hurt? Well, this budget is uh, going to leave an awful lot of people behind. Those who are losing their jobs, uh, those who are having trouble uh, meeting ends meet at the end of the month uh, uh, and putting food on the table, uh, they're the ones that are going to struggle the most. Uh, the $36 uh, uh, per child uh, increase in the, in the child benefit is good, but what we needed was several hundred dollars, as we proposed, to lift hundreds of thousands of children out of poverty. We could have done that, and those families would have spent that money down the street in a local store, which would have created some local work. Uh, that would have been the positive way to go. Uh, corporate tax cuts to banks don't create jobs. I promised one more, but I have one more yet. The effect on women. Are you concerned about the effect on women of this budget? Well, I was astounded to see that the uh, uh, women's right to legal action uh, to deal with uh, work uh, of equal value, pay for work of equal value, uh, is going to be taken away uh, in this document. And uh, this is one of the things that was in their economic statement from before. Uh, it was an attack on women. It was an attack on workers. We see that same thing here. Uh, and, uh, and it just leaves so many people behind. And it doesn't take advantage of the opportunities that we have in the midst of this crisis. Uh, that's why we're disappointed and uh, why we, we don't have confidence in Mr. Harper to deliver the kind of economic policy we need. We don't think he should stay in power uh, uh, on that basis. And I'm hopeful that our coalition partner will make that decision, but it remains to be seen. Thank you very much, Jack Layton.